Welcome everyone to today's video. We're diving into the dramatic and impactful story of the Sony Pictures hack of 2014. By the end, you'll understand how this major cybersecurity breach intersected with geopolitics and the entertainment industry, and its lasting impact on how companies defend against cyber threats. In November 2014, Sony Pictures Entertainment fell victim to a massive cyber attack by a group calling themselves the Guardians of Peace, or GOP. This attack exposed the vulnerability of corporate cybersecurity on an unprecedented scale. The hackers infiltrated Sony's network and stole vast amounts of data, including confidential employee information, unreleased films, and sensitive internal communications. The hackers leaked personal details of over 6,000 employees, including social security numbers, addresses, and financial information. They released digital copies of unreleased films like Annie, Still Alice, and To Write Love on Her Arms on file-sharing websites. Internal emails between executives were made public, revealing embarrassing and damaging opinions and decisions. The hack is widely believed to have been motivated by the planned release of The Interview, a satirical comedy about a fictional assassination attempt on North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. North Korea saw the film as an act of aggression and a serious affront to their leadership. Following an investigation, the U.S. government attributed the attack to North Korea. The Sony hack was executed with a sophisticated combination of malware and spear phishing tactics. Initial access was likely gained through spear phishing emails that tricked employees into revealing their credentials or downloading malicious attachments. The attackers deployed the Destover malware, which included capabilities for data theft and the destruction of data on infected systems. This malware spread across Sony's network using a worm component that exploited vulnerabilities in the server message block or SMB protocol. The fallout from the hack was extensive. Sony Pictures faced tens of millions of dollars in IT repairs, legal fees, and lost business opportunities. Operations were severely disrupted, with employees resorting to pen and paper as computer systems were taken offline to prevent further damage. The leaked emails exposed unflattering opinions and confidential business strategies, leading to public embarrassment and executive resignations. The Sony hack served as a wake-up call for the industry, highlighting critical cybersecurity weaknesses and prompting widespread changes. Companies worldwide reevaluated and strengthened their cybersecurity practices, focusing on better intrusion detection, stronger encryption, and improved employee training. Organizations emphasized the development of comprehensive incident response plans to quickly and effectively respond to potential breaches. The incident underscored the importance of cooperation between private companies and government agencies in addressing cybersecurity threats. The Sony Pictures hack also underscored the broader implications of cybersecurity in the context of geopolitics and freedom of expression. The attack was seen as an attempt to stifle creative expression and censor content critical of a repressive regime, raising concerns about the influence of geopolitical actors on artistic and media freedoms. The hack strained U.S.-North Korea relations and highlighted the need for international cooperation to combat state-sponsored cyber threats. The Sony Pictures hack of 2014 was a watershed moment in the history of cybersecurity. It illustrated the profound impact that cyber attacks can have on businesses, individuals, and international relations. It highlighted the vulnerabilities inherent in digital infrastructures and the necessity for robust cybersecurity measures. The incident remains a pivotal case study in the ongoing efforts to secure cyberspace against increasingly sophisticated and politically motivated threats. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and share it to help support my channel. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest tech videos. Until next time, stay safe and happy computing.